Got a little further on it today. Gusset on, shock gusset, front tower. Those shocks are gonna be a wee bit stiff until I get used to them. <laughs> Same with the rear shocks. Not funny. Radius rods on, but loose. Back plate, the backup plate motors in it. Getting somewhere in front. Can't see it, but it's down there. Got myself a nice little uh, Davis pump. Doesn't hardly pull any power. It's very quiet. Coming together slowly but surely. Working on steering. Got parts ordered. Got a brake pedal now with the master cylinder. Yeah, starting to get somewhere. Hey Ron, quick update. Got my radius rods on, back plate. Had to cut out just a little bit for the motor mount in the back. You know the deal. Uh, got my arms on. Uh, let me see. I haven't put the springs on yet because I'm still cycling the suspension. Um, I had to remote mount the heat exchanger. Twenty miles, and it's at three oh three seven. Just pulled it on the trailer. Hey guys, uh, one hundred and twenty point nine, so almost one hundred and twenty one. And we did a lot of sand washes today, so it, it eats a little more power than normal going up and down the sand washes at sixty. And most of my runs were around forty five miles an hour, so I'm really happy with this sixty kilowatt pack. Thank you, Matt. DC to DC. Yeah. Good morning, guys. I'm getting a lot of questions on how do you charge your car when you're out in the middle of nowhere. Well, we're at the campground, so we have a 50 amp service. Here are my four chargers. I just made a little hand truck, small hand truck with four chargers on it. Uh, here's my input to the car. That's the 400 volts going in. Here's the Tesla Model 3 motor. And then 10 of the Chevy Bolt battery packs. My temporary dash. It seems to be working just fine. And on power input, each one of these is 12 amps. So 12, 24, 36, 48 amps. So if you have a weak breaker, you can uh, disconnect one of those. So we're plugged into the service of the campground, come out with a little Y. The yellow one hits the motor home. The black one hits my chargers. Ron, quick update, new cooling, got some tetrabs, one just for the uh, crankcase, and then one for just the cooling of the inverter, and let me show you the new controller, it's basically an iPad, um, I turn it on here, and then it does its little thing, and it's hard to do, but if I press the brake, you'll see the brake light come on. So it's hard to do. Let me press the brake and hit drive with my finger. There we go. I'm going to touch the accelerator. Little spinny spinny. Yes, sir. 